What is going on guys? Tall Fisherman Jay here and today we are out here on the big blue beautiful Key West Florida. Now we are on this little party boat now. We came out to do some offshore fishing. The priority today is a catch and cook. Now I want to catch yellowtail snapper. I have not tried it. Fishing for it is super super fun. We got mega light line today. Really ultra light setup. We're going to have a blast catching yellowtails or anything else that wants to bite. We're gonna do some bottom fishing as well today, but let's get today started. It is beautiful, not a cloud in the sky. Could not ask for better weather. I am so pumped. Let's do it. Can't wait. Catch cooks coming soon. Let's go. Uh, uh, I got him. I got him. I finally got him. Catch and cook time. Hey, I'm happy with this. Oh my god, finally. No sharks here. Yeet. Yeah, you're, you're got took. Oh, come on. No, I think he got off. Oh, no, he didn't. I don't want him to get off. He's running. He's running from that shark. That's what he's doing. That's a bait. That may be. We'll, we'll measure him. I don't think he's... Skeever? What is it? 10? 12? I don't know. I don't know if this one's keeper. Oh, yeah, he's keeper. Number two. Beautiful fish. All right, guys, so we are off. We are back on land. We're going to go ahead and fillet one of these beautiful yellowtail snapper for dinner tonight. I cannot wait to try this. I've been waiting for a long time to get this fish on the hot ass pan. So let's go ahead and start the filleting process. All right, guys, so we are back at the house yet again with this beautiful yellowtail snapper. Now, look at that, you guys. I mean, the, the meat is just absolutely perfect. This is one of the most perfect, oh, God. This is one of the most perfect fish fillets I've ever seen. It's just pure white. I mean, it couldn't be any better. No bones. It's it's amazing. Now, I have had snapper before, but I have never had yellowtail snapper. Now, I know that this fish is going to be good, so we're going to try and cook this fish in a different way unique kind of way something that i haven't done on the channel yet and i actually haven't had much of it and that is blackened i don't really have blackened fish much i'm going to try my best to do blackened yellowtail snapper i'm also going to cook some pasta with a lemon butter garlic sauce it should be freaking delicious so we're going to go ahead and get started the recipe for blackened fish goes for a lot of spices obviously we got paprika onion powder garlic powder chili powder pepper salt oregano and that is it so that is all going to be mixed together in a bowl and we are going to give it a generous amount on the fish we're actually going to cover the whole fish in it like as if we were breading it and then we're going to fry it in some butter and we got ourselves some blackened yellowtail snapper i'm super excited let's go ahead and prep our spices get all this stuff in a bowl and then uh, go from there. It says to put a spoonful of each. Now, we're going to do salt first. And I'm not going to do go so crazy with the salt. Probably going to do half a spoon of salt. Because most of this stuff has salt in it already. A spoon of pepper. That's good. Paprika. And yes, I know my measurements aren't absolutely perfect, but... We have two pieces of fish, we're not doing a lot, so I think we should be okay. This is garlic powder. Got our oregano. 
our onion powder. I love this stuff. And a little bit of chili powder. I'm not gonna put a full spoon of this either because this stuff is hot. So once all your dry ingredients are mixed or in the bowl and mix it up. So my dry ingredients are mixed. What we're gonna do next is we're going to generously cover our fish in this dry mixture. We're probably gonna cover the whole entire fish in it. Uh, but first, before that, let's prep our pasta. We're just gonna boil some water and get that going. All right, water is coming up to a boil. We're gonna put a little bit of oil in it to prevent the pasta from sticking. A bit of salt in the water. Now, pasta takes, it doesn't take a long time, but it definitely takes a longer time than these fish take to fry up. So we're gonna let this sit for a little bit before we start cooking our fish. Let that pasta chill in there. And once this pasta is about five minutes to being finished, then we're gonna cook our fish so everything can be done at the same time. No burning here. We're not burning nothing. So guys, I just wanna give a quick reminder that you guys love the hot ass products. You guys are also familiar with the hot ass pan, the hot ass oil, but now we're introducing the hot ass pot. Definitely check it out. Links in the description. Get your own limited time only. Use the code HOTAF for 10% off me, Logan, and Jake Paul. We definitely collaborated on all these products to bring you the hottest products out there on YouTube right now. So definitely check it out. Links in the description, you guys. All right, so our pasta has come to a boil. That's gonna be done in about five minutes. What we're gonna do is prepare our fish. Now, we're just gonna cover our fish in the seasoning, get some butter and oil in the pan, fry it up. Now, I know that there is options for cooking this fish with the skin on. I personally do not like the skin on, so we're gonna do it skin off just the fillets like this and see how it comes out we're experimenting today but we're gonna go ahead and get this going where is my bowl i need a bigger bowl than this i'm gonna put our fish in this bowl way easier to work with and then we're going to take our dry seasoning mix and just completely cover the fish on the recipe it says to generously cover the fish in the seasoning so that's what we are going to do wow it already has that that red kind of blackened fish look to it. Wow, it looks so good, it smells so good too. So that's a really nice coating, it's not crazy thick. Just, uh, if you guys do this at home, just make sure you drizzle off the excess uh, seasoning that may be clumped up on top. And we actually probably didn't even use it all. This is probably more than enough for these two fillets. We don't wanna overdo it. But we do want to get full full coverage on both sides. Okay, so I think these are completely covered. We're going to just shake them off. Any excess, we don't want it to burn or clump. Put it right here. Oh my God, it looks so good. Check that out, you guys. The seasoning came out pretty good. They got the nice red spice color to them. I'm pretty excited. These are the black and yellowtail snapper. Now we're just going to get our pan filled with some butter and oil. The pasta is done, I actually shut it off. I don't want it to get too mushy. And we're pretty much done. So next step is frying these up, heading to the table, trying it for the first time. And I'm pretty sure I'm gonna absolutely love it. But I'm curious how this blackened is gonna come out. So let's go ahead and fry this fish up. All right, we got our butter and oil in the pan. We're just gonna go ahead and let this obviously melt, start bubbling, and our fish will go right in there. It shouldn't take too long. These are thin fillets. It shouldn't take about more than, I don't know, three to five minutes to cook fully. And I am super excited. So we're gonna let that get super hot before we put in our fish. And we're done. So our butter is bubbling. We're gonna go ahead and put our fillets in there. Oh my God. The smells that are coming off of this is just absolutely incredible. There goes our fish. We're gonna give it some time. We got it on medium heat. We do not want these to burn. Like I said, about five, maybe five to seven minutes, these should be absolutely finished and ready to go. Oh my God, it looks so good. I am so proud of myself right now. So another two minutes on that side that I just turned and they are finished. My pasta has been strained. We're gonna put a little bit more oil and salt on it. And we're done, you guys. Oh, I gotta make the lemon butter sauce, I'm tripping. All right guys, these fish are completely done. We're gonna go ahead and take them off just to let them 
cool a bit. Oh my god. That's not burnt, you guys. That's blackened. That's the whole... Oh my god, it looks so good. Okay, let's finish the garlic butter sauce and then start eating. I'm so excited right now. All right, so for the lemon butter garlic sauce, actually, we're going to obviously melt some butter in a pot. Whoa, too hot. Yes, I know this is a lime, not a lemon, but it'll do the job. We're going to add a whole lime or lemon to our melting butter. So once the lemon is in with the butter, we're going to go ahead and add garlic. I could have used garlic powder, but I had fresh garlic, so I went ahead and just uh, chopped some up. We're going to add that in and then mix it up. Not for too long. Don't let it burn. And we are finished. So everything is in order. Everything is finished. We're going to go ahead and just plate our food. Yes, my hands are clean. Ow, oh, that was hot. Okay, so here is our pasta, oiled, salted. Um, the lemon butter is going to give it a lot of flavor, so I'm not going to put anything else on the pasta right now. We're going to go ahead and put our fish right on there. and we are going to drizzle our lemon butter garlic sauce. Now I purposely left the big chunks of garlic because I like it. I like to get some big chunks of garlic with every spoonful of pasta or whatever. So I personally enjoy it, but you can dice it up or use garlic powder or whatever. And we're just gonna drizzle all that over it. Oh my God, what a lunch I'm about to have. And there we have it, you guys. There is blackened, Yellowtail snapper with a lemon butter garlic sauce on fettuccine pasta. I am going to the table right now. We are going to try this fish. It's going to be delicious, but I got to see how the blackened part came out. Let's do it, you guys. All right, so we are back at the table yet again for another catch and cook. Now, this time we did blackened yellowtail snapper. I've actually never had yellowtail snapper before. I've had snapper. I think I've had mangrove and mutton, but... Yellowtail should taste the same. I'm pretty excited about it. But the way we cooked it was something different that we did on the channel. I've never tried blackened fish uh, on the channel as well as just in general. I haven't really had much blackened fish. So it was a lot of fun trying to cook my own. Here it is right here. It looks fantastic. It smells fantastic. I can already tell this fish is gonna be a 10 out of 10. This dish, how it is, is a 10 out of 10. But I'm curious on how the blackened part came out. I wanna see if I did that right. So we're gonna go ahead and I am gonna break it in front of the camera just to show you guys the inside of the fish and how absolutely perfect it is. And then we're gonna go ahead and try it and I'll let you know how I like it. So we're gonna just grab this piece here and just off the bat, I can tell you that the whole blackened seasoning fried up really, really well. So we're gonna go ahead and just break this, show you the inside just as expected. It is just beautiful, white, tender meat falling off, just crumbling in my hand. It's juicy. I mean, I can't look at this and not want to just eat it right now, but we're going to set it down. The inside is perfect. The seasoning is so good. Oh my God. Okay. So without further ado, yellowtail snapper blackened catch and cook taste test in three, two, one. We're going to actually have no pasta first. We're just going to do the fish just to try the fish by itself, and then we're gonna try the pasta with the sauce. But here goes the fish. Wow. You guys, that is, that is just absolutely delicious. There's no words that can really describe the happiness that is going right now. <laughs> this fish is so good, I mean, Obviously, I feel like any way that this fish is prepared is just absolutely good. I've heard no bad things about this fish. It's amazing. Blackened is amazing. The texture is amazing. It's just, it's melts in your mouth. The seasoning is beautiful. You get a little bit of, a little bit of spice, kind of tastes a little Cajun-y. It is so, so good. It, it, it's just so good. It's unbelievably good. I'm gonna go ahead and try some with the pasta. I'm really curious how that sauce tastes. I'm pretty sure it tastes good. So we're gonna take some pasta here and a little piece of fish. Mm. Very good. Lemony, garlicky, buttery. The softness of the fish with the softness of the pasta 
It's just an A+. Plus. This dish is absolutely incredible. I can't say more than that. Yellowtail Snapper, 10 out of 10. I am finished with this catch cook. Also, I am finished with my lunch. It was absolutely delicious. If you guys have a chance to try this, 100% try it. Do it, catch some. Make sure it's in regulation. Blacken it up, do your own thing, do a little twist to it, but it is just so good. It is really good. I encourage everyone to try it if you already have not. I am out of here. Also, you guys, make sure you leave a comment in the comment section below what you guys want to see next on the Catch and Cook series. I do a lot of these videos. I strive to catch and cook every species out there. I want to try every kind of fish that I haven't already, so make sure you leave the comment below. Freshwater, saltwater, something that I have not done. I do read the comments. I will look at it, and it can be chosen for the next episode of Catch and Cook. Woo, that was fast. For this video, make sure you leave a thumbs up. It lets me know that you enjoy the content that I create for you. As always, I will see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching, liking, commenting, and subscribing. And I will see you later. Peace.